and only on 13. A Friendswood teen could go blind after chemicals were thrown in his eyes. Police say horror the horrifying attack was carried out by someone he thought he could trust. ABC 13's Alex Bozargian joins us live. And Alex, is the so-called friend here facing any charges? He is. He's facing an injury to a disabled charge because the victim here is autistic. That's a felony. I have to say, Eric, that how this all went down is very unusual, and I do want to warn viewers that the pictures of the victim's injuries are incredibly graphic. Kids that have autism don't always know how to make good friend choices. On the afternoon of May 20th, Brody Morgan was walking through his Friendswood neighborhood with two teens from school when his mom says they frantically returned home with her son who was screaming. All I, you know, heard was that he had you know, substance thrown in his face, which I was told was salt. On the car ride to the hospital, Brody claimed one of the teens swiped a package from a house down the street. He says the other 17 year old Brandon Jolly decided to open it inside a tube of powder. Court documents show Jolly spilled it on Brody's shirt, which caused Brody to push him away. That's when police say Jolly threw it in his face. We went onto the emergency room and, and they immediately realized that that was not salt and they kept trying to get from me what it was and I you know I had no idea. Doctors would later find out the chemical in Brody's eyes was a drain declogger. I spoke to Jolly's mom tonight. She wasn't there but believes this was a horrible accident. She says the substance fell out of her son's hand after Brody quote attacked him. She's his mom and um, she's going to support her son and and I don't blame her. Amy Morgan says she has sympathy for Jolly and his family. Because I know all this has to be hard on them, but um, they're not having to deal with a child that's um, possibly going to lose his vision or, or, you know, scarring burns on his face. These photos were taken today. Morgan's injuries very severe and his recovery process unpredictable. The kind of chemicals um, that they were can still continue to break down. I'm Alex Bozargian, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.